So I have a friend who is expecting a baby, and for her nursery, she asked if I would build her a bookshelf. It's kind of a smaller nursery, so she wanted a corner bookshelf with side compartments that are square so that the books wouldn't require bookends. So stay tuned, and I'll show you how I made this. I started off using my circular saw to cut down my sheet of plywood into manageable pieces, then went over to my table saw and finished cutting them to size. Once I had the sides and the top and bottom cut, I stopped to get a visual. Then I switched out my blade for my dado stack and cut a rabbit on both ends of the side pieces. Then I came in through the middle and marked off where my dados were going to go. I know I could just cut these without marking them, but I prefer to see them. Then of course I stopped to get another visual and everything is lining up. So I took the top and bottom and marked off where the dados needed to go, then simply took it to the table saw and cut them in. To take off that front corner, I set up a temporary fence and used my circular saw, cutting both the top and the bottom at the same time. Then I started putting it together. I started with the bottom and the two sides, set up a few clamps, then moved on to something else while the glue dried. So while that dried, I moved on to make the shelves, which are identical to the top and bottom, except for the dados being slightly more shallow as well as on both sides. So I put down some glue and fit it into place, giving it a little bit of this, a little bit of that, and throwing on some clamps. To create the back and the side walls for the cubby, I first put in a short piece, then came back with a long solid piece, then finished it off with a second shorty. Even though I'm not showing and stating it every time, all of these joints do have glue on them. Next I repeated the steps and built it up layer by layer, making sure to pause after each layer to clamp it and allow the glue to dry. To take away the sharpness of this front compartment, I took some scraps and beveled the edges and then glued it in place. I had to get kind of creative with the clamping method. You can see here my rig as I take it down. Since I planned to stain the project, I picked up a few rolls of edge banding, ironed it on, and then cut off the excess. To hide the edges on top of the bookshelf, I cut two boards, then used my jigsaw to cut a curve in one. I used this to trace out on the second one and make it identical. I then glued and clamped these into place using paint cans. For a finish, I first laid down pre-stained wood conditioner, came back with a coat of stain, and then threw on three coats of poly. So what I really like about this bookshelf is how versatile it is. You don't only have to use it for books. As you can see, there's stuffed animals and toys on it as well. So if you'd like to build one, I do have a set of plans on my website, which is wilkerdues.com. There's also a link in the description of the video for you, so feel free to check it out. Please leave me your comments below. I would love to hear your thoughts, and until next time. Pull up my bridges. Ready? You need to hold. No, I just need you to get the door. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay.